This is WCPO 9 News. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Kristen Swilly. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. Covington police say they found the body of 59 year old Judy Bell lying in front of a home on West 7th Street Saturday morning. Witnesses say they saw a man dragging her to that front yard. Police were able to track down 42 year old Lee Scalf. He was arrested and charged with tampering with evidence and abuse of a corpse. The B&V on Roosevelt in Middletown is closed until further notice. Officials tell the Journal News they had to close because of staffing issues. Drivers will now have to head to the next closest B&V locations in Hamilton, Franklin or Lebanon to register or renew their licenses. A couple of exciting lineups to look forward to, starting with this year's Reds opening day parade. Finley Market says the parade will highlight local Olympians like Nick Gepper, Mike Mary Weinberg, and more. Marty Brenneman and the Kid Glove Program. Anthony Munoz will join other Bengals greats, the Cincinnati Harkey Sister City Program, too. And we've told you, Hall of Famer and Moeller alum Barry Larkin is the Grand Marshal. You can see the full list now on WCPO.com and in your WCPO 9 app. And since any prides line up for the festival in June is now out, it's headlined by Grammy winner Dea and Grammy nominee and Glee star Alex Newell, who was set to perform here in 2020. Singer songwriter Jordy and transgender activist and singer songwriter Shea Diamond have also been announced. Since any pride is June 25th with the festival at Sawyer Point after the parade. Raven. All right, everybody, we are expecting to be a little bit warmer than where we are Saturday. Today's highs will be into the mid 50s for us. We're expecting to see a little bit more sunshine for the afternoon hours, but chances of rain are on the way. We'll get to Sunday. Things will be fine, but then Monday morning, looking at chances of rain for you, we'll see a break though, and then heading into Tuesday, We've also got chances of rain as well. That will continue as we are going throughout the next couple of days for us. We will warm up into the 60s. Today will be a high of 57 by Wednesday, a high of 66. After the rain, though, temperatures falling right back down.